Hello, my name is Perseverance, and welcome to my commentary channel. Now, usually I script all of my commentary, but if you read the channel description, you'll see that on this channel I will be doing purely unscripted commentary, which I'm hoping to get some practice out of it. So I have no idea how these videos are going to be, I have no idea how the formats are going to be, or what I want to do with them, but let's just go with it. It will be a fun practice. I hope so. So I've been playing this game called Hackers, the game, and it's a mobile strategy game. So if you want to, if you've never seen this game before, I guess, check out the game itself. But otherwise, I'm going to assume that you at least know what this game is about going forwards. And since the game seems to be intended to be played over long durations with short bursts, judging by how long it takes everything to upgrade, that's more or less what I will be doing. So probably every day I will record maybe one or two very short snippets of videos because I don't intend to wait all day for things to finish and I think the game isn't designed for me to do that anyhow. I guess I will do a quick introduction or an overview of my network. So I've been playing mostly as a pure purely offensive player, I guess, purely hacking. So as you can see, I really only have one server farm and one Bitcoin mine. I got them to level six, but after that, I decided to switch into this style. Um, my defenses, I guess, are sort of high level. My turrets are all level six. Colgates are all level five. This black eyes is level five. This sentry is level 7, so I can't really upgrade any of them further, and this guardian level 2, which I also can't upgrade further. And the only thing that I can really still upgrade at this point is going to be this scanner and this black eyes. But as you can see, I already put my threats into upgrading my core, which should be done in 20 more hours. And so that's mainly what I've been focusing on, is defenses and programs. So I currently have level 6 beam cannons and level 3 blasters, but my ice wall and protectors are actually still pretty low level, and that's because I really haven't found the need to upgrade them yet, I guess. So far, most of the people I've been hacking actually have pretty low defenses, even at level 20. And just level 1 ice wall and level 2 protector has been more than enough to really break through any network I've seen so far. Um, although I am upgrading my blaster because I seem to prefer it over the battering ram. And I have the shotgun at level 2, but I, have, I don't actually use it at all, but I have seen high level players use that a lot, so I'm just preemptively upgrading it for good measures, because why not? Since one of the main problems I actually have right now is I don't actually seem to be able to spend my money. Uh, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I guess that's a good thing, but at the same time, I have nothing to spend it on because my core is going to take 20 more hours. I'm already upgrading the uh, access program for the future in case uh, when stealth probably becomes more useful. And I'm already at maxed out storages almost. And so far, and I got one attack on me by Samet, who did a pretty heavy commitment. Uh, two Krakens, 12 Ice Walls, 2 Protectors, 2 Battering Ram, 21 Beam Cannon, and he didn't manage to really break through, judging by how much he took. So let's take a quick look at this replay and see what happened. So he has level 4 Ice Wall and level 2 Protector, and level 5 Beam Cannon, so he is pretty high level on his programs. Although my, even though my beam cannon is a bit higher, but that's not a big difference. And here comes the first choke point on the scanner. So he's going to drop down the ice wall protector, which I do myself. But what's going to happen? He has to drop down another ice wall because the black ice. 
and he really he took over uh, this turret really quickly, but he's not doing anything against the black eyes and the turret. And the black eyes and the turret is eventually going to take down the scanner at the front, which will cut off his kraken like that. That's one of the weaknesses of the kraken that I found so far. Is that you can cut it off. So you actually do have to take down all the security nodes on the way regardless. And he did get through all of my security nodes, but he's still having some difficulty on this code gate. So he drops down the hat right now. Although he only has 1 minute and 40 seconds left. So... I guess two Krakens should be enough for this code gate. And he has to drop down another ice wall just to break that one code gate. And he only has two ice walls left. And he's gonna need another one in this entry probably. To take out that uh, black ice. But is the black ice gonna break the sentry? Yeah, it is. So he has to drop down another ice wall. I see. So he has now has this guardian to deal with on this code gate. But oh, it looks like he lost the battering ram. Right I guess that's going to be the end of that then, because, yeah, he lost the battering ram. He's not going to break the code in time. He has only uh, 40 seconds left. And he's going to need at least another 30 seconds to break the core. Oh, that level, and that level uh, 7 antivirus really makes a pretty big difference on these low level ones. And yeah, that's about it. I don't think he's going to be able to make this. Which we already actually know he didn't doesn't make this. So I do realize that my base is pretty vulnerable to mostly race attack if you just take out this sentry. Um, it's also pretty vulnerable to a portal attack if anyone has it at this level. And somewhat vulnerable to the Kraken attack, but not necessarily as you just summon that last replay. So I am considering doing something about it, but the thing is I don't have a need for it right now. And that's why my strategy is just going to be to level up my core and defenses as fast as possible so that by the time I get to a level where everyone starts attacking more often, then I will already have a base setup ready. And the thing is, I can't exactly go ahead and rearrange my base right now either because I simply don't have enough data to determine what the best arrangement is. Since, as you can see, even with this arrangement, which clearly has several weaknesses, most people haven't really been able to break it. So I do need, at the same time, more data so I can know what the main, what the main key, uh, weaknesses are on my basis. But I guess we'll see. It's still pretty early. I'm only at level 21. So, yeah. I'll see you next video.